Verena. Can you come and help me? Can you get away from your writing just Step to help me? Away from my computer into the kitchen. Exactly. Make something delicious for Nora and Shai's birthday. Fantastic. I'm honoured. I will grab an apron. Yes. Thank you. Let's do it. Today we're baking. No winging it. A no winging it. Level tablespoons. Yeah, three level tablespoons. Thank you. Good start. Yeah. Everything good always starts <laughs> with a bit of sugar. Verena, what is for dinner? Wow, we're going to make a pastis gascon. A pastis um, what? A pastis gascon. Who's that? Who's gascon? Um, it's a French um, kind of like an apple pie. Um, from the sort of southwestern region of France. Um, in, Called Gascony. From Gascony, exactly. Yeah. Nor loves apples. She loves apples, she Chai loves marzipan. Chai loves booze, exactly. This is exactly. a winning combination. <laughs> no. Same birthday. Happy Same birthday. birthday. Perfect, oh. okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start by um, lining the tin. So I've got some butter melting here. I'm gonna use some of that butter to um, start my tin to grease the tin and I'm going to be quite, this has got a bit of a wobbly bottom, <laughs> so I'm just going to grease this and then I'm going to take just some parchment paper and I'm literally just going to cut a strip, sort of roughly about six centimetres, okay, and then I'm literally just going to I don't want to line the whole tin because I want the pie to get really brown, okay. so I want that contact from the phyllo in, you know, touching the tin. And there's enough butter on there. And there's enough butter on there. Um, but what I do want, just in case it sticks, I've got this as a kind of sling that I can slide it out with. Interesting. Um, this is lined, I'm just gonna get out of the way. And the filling is really, really easy. Mm -hmm. So it's the sugar that you put in earlier, so three sure tablespoons of sugar. And then um, apples. So you can use, sort of any apple. So these are pink ladies. Um, I'm using four apples, two pink ladies. Two... And could you, could you um, use other fruit if you wanted? You could use pears, absolutely. Um, basically, this isn't traditional, this part. Um, the marzipan. The marzipan. But this recipe, I, I developed this originally for a Christmas column. And marzipan is very Christmassy. And as it so happens, both Noor and Shaya also love marzipan. We all do. And then the other thing is the prunes. So again, traditional, it's apple and armagnac. So, and prunes and armagnac go very well together. So yeah. at the time I thought, okay, this is great together. And it really is delicious. So this is just about 50 grams of and prunes. And if you didn't have prunes, you could use figs, sultanas. Figs, raisins, raisins sultanas, apricots, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So you want a third of the marzipan? So yeah, roughly about a third of the marzipan. Up. Um, up. Yeah, yeah, and you can actually just, I mean, it's, it's pretty soft, so you can just use your fingers. So yeah, so the apples, I'm just gonna cut them into thin, sort of half centimetre. So if you could cut that lemon in half and then sure just thing. give me like rough, a rough tablespoon, you don't need to weigh it, just like eyeball okay. it. Yeah. Um, so and now time for the booze, because it's a party. The booze. So, um, traditionally, um, like I mentioned earlier, it should be Armagnac, mm -hmm. um, which is from that region, but I actually couldn't get any. Um, Run out. Someone's drunk it all. <coughs> <laughs> um, so, we've only got a little bit left, but um, I actually think it's a good thing in some ways, because really you can use, so even though that's the traditional one, you can use brandy, yeah. rum, um, as cognac. long as, yeah, cognac, I mean, it really, your favorite table, as long as it has a high alcohol content. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't like chuck some beer in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'd be a bit gross. Cider. Yeah. Or cider. Kind of Calvados brandy. Something, yeah, because we're gonna flambe some later. And could you leave it out if you want, if you were doing it Absolutely. for kids and thought you don't, need you don't want them to develop a taste? You can, you can leave it out. Come on. And a three, and then a little bit more. Wait, look, there's hardly any left. I need to keep some for flambing. So that, that'll do. <laughs> so I've laid out the phyllo on a damp towel, a clean, damp towel. And then as I'm working, I'll do work with one sheet at a time and then cover it. And this is where the butter comes in. Mm -hmm. So you can, so for this, obviously it's butter, um, but you can use it, you can use butter or olive oil. So we're basically gonna 
build up layers in the tin which make it flaky and delicious and you're you going to put sugar between each I'm going to put sugar in between so it's kind of like caramelized sugary um, and if you didn't put butter in between the layers it would just be dry and and then I'm just going to go so I'm going to just brush each and just sprinkle it evenly over so don't be scared by this if it tears like it has it really doesn't matter I've laid it in kind of by eye making sure that it's sort of equal lengths and then I'm lifting one part and then just gently getting mm -hmm. it in the corners nice. if you didn't lift this up and just try to tighten it into the corners you'll just put your finger straight mm -hmm. through it and then you'll get sure. holes and again it doesn't matter that it tears like there's a hole here I'm gonna just gonna do more layers. exactly I'm gonna do more layers okay. and I'm gonna rotate Right, so that's the base lined. Um, so this is ready now for the apples. Uh -huh. So literally, I mean, it's so easy. So I'm basically just gathering up the edges and you really do not need to take so much care. Do you I'm, trust me to help you? I trust you. Okay. You're just lifting them up and you're just gently turning them inwards and creating a nice sort of roughly effect as you go. Beautiful. Right. It's looking a bit Christmas wreathy. Yeah, it does actually. Right, so now um, I'm going to butter the remaining sheets. I've got about four or five sheets left. And I'm going to do the same as I did before. So Sugar again. I'm buttering them. Yeah. You're going to sugar me up. Oops, sticking. And I'm taking, and, the, and at this point, if you get a torn one, it really doesn't matter, because all I'm doing is I've collected it into a big sort of sloppy mass, and I'm just ruching it like a tissue. And I'm just gonna Brilliant. plonk it. But Luckily, isn't it beautiful? It, it is really beautiful. is beautiful. It is beautiful. And, and, and more butter on top, or are we going to stop? Um, I'm actually, I've got a little bit left. Okay, It'd be a okay, shame not okay. to waste it. <laughs> so I am literally just going to dot it on top. So, right, so let's get this in the oven. So this is just uh, a baking tray um, with some paper on top, um, just for any spillages. I'm going to plonk that on top. And then I'm going to get it in the oh. oven. Okay, so um, this is a 180 degree oven. So that's going to cook for about an hour, an hour and 15. Uh, I'm going to turn it halfway and by that time it will be turn beautiful, it, rotate crispy, it. rotate it, yep. No, please don't do that. <laughs> don't turn it off. <laughs>
I think often times you see things just magically appear. So I, th I think we need to be honest and, and show sure. how we unmold this bad boy. So this is the <laughs> sling that we made earlier, and this I'll show you how this comes in handy. So, and this is why you need a removable base. So I'm just gonna hold it carefully. Please work, please work. Okay, hot. There we go. I'm just gonna okay. slide it. With conviction. With conviction. Clever and no hesitation. So I'm gonna Beautiful. do that. And you leave that. And, and then, no, no, no. Over. And now I'm just gonna... Round of applause for that. Um, I think it would be nice it. to flambe. So I'm gonna just... How much have we got then? What was left? Okay. <laughs> so I reckon that's about two tablespoons. Okay. So I'm going to heat that. And at this stage, you don't want to leave it hanging around too much because you don't want the alcohol to sort of evaporate. Okay, so this is hot. Oops, I already got a match. So actually, let's just flambe first and pour it over. Oops. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yay. Oh, no, perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Oh. And what, what burnt? Where? My technical, uh, technical <laughs> I thing think here. that's the perfect, I think we'll just plonk them all over. Or are you actually going to spell it out? I wasn't going to spell it out. So what good. was the point of buying Happy Birthday? Okay, let's go and find them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear North Shadow. Oh, terrifying, absolutely terrifying. But they are jolly good. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, Tara. Burning. 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 Bernage. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can find the, all the links to the recipes and everything else you need in the description below.